Picture this, you find yourself in the tropics, you've lost your watch, the sun's hidden behind the trees, how do you tell the time? You ask the four o'clock moth. It's not four o'clock. What are you doing? All right, let's back it up a bit. The four o'clock moth doesn't actually run on a human schedule, but there's still a lot of truth to the name. Found up the northeast coast and across the top of Australia, this insect's beautiful bright colors might make it look like a butterfly, but it's really a day-flying moth. Turns out butterflies don't have a monopoly on pizzazz. The name four o'clock moth refers to the time of day they're most active, which is the late afternoon. It's also apparently the best time for dating. These two have found a nice tree to settle down on and get started on the next generation. Who are you two? This old female is looking for a good place to lay her eggs on this freshwater mangrove, one of the species' common host plants. The eggs will hatch into caterpillars, which are quite spectacular in their own right. Here's some we prepared earlier. This one's really hoeing into that leaf. It's on a mission. The really crazy thing is that when they're startled or resting, they just stand straight up and refuse to move. It's so weird. It looks like they're planning something, but clearly looking untrustworthy works in their favor. When the larvae are ready to pupate, they make a little chamber out of live green leaves, which they bind together with silk. Pretty comfy. This one has quite a surprising visitor, but it's okay, they're just housemates. Good luck with your beauty sleep, little moths. You're gonna need it. <laughs>